Is it too early to call it a three-peat? The U.S. women's national team is off to a good start defeating Vietnam, and Colorado natives were the shining stars. Sophia Smith, a product of Fossil Ridge High School, scored the first and second goals tonight. And golden native Lindsey Horan gave the women's team its third goal. The women's team is pushing to win its fifth overall and third consecutive World Cup title, making them the first team in history to do so. And with players like that, there is no surprise that women's soccer has become massively popular in the United States. And tonight, some key players are pushing to take the sport to the next level. Our Karen Morfitt watched tonight's game alongside some ballers and now pushing for professional. Hundreds of fans came out to cheer on the women's national team, decked out in all the gear, but they're also here to show their support for bringing a professional women's team here to Denver. Yes. When it comes to soccer fans, Colorado has them. This is exactly what I expected. I don't know. I just like soccer. And they showed up in numbers, ready to cheer on their favorite women's national team players. A same career. But these fans have another goal in mind. I'm a father of two girls, and I started to see the world through their eyes, which is there's not a pro women's soccer team for them to go and, um, and watch. Ben Hubbard is with For Denver FC, the group leading a push to get a women's professional soccer team to the metro area. We are the one of the few major metropolitan cities in the United States without any women's professional sports franchise. We are also a region that produces some of the best women's soccer players in the world. And so it is the missing puzzle piece on the map right now. So it's a logical place to bring a team. There's also a growing fan base and early interest from investors and government officials. We are missing out on revenue when we don't support women's sports. The kickoff of the World Cup is the unofficial launch of their campaign with a timeline of having that team in Denver by 2026. Seeing myself in them is even greater. Let's do it soon. The idea alone enough to inspire young women in Colorado already. Eight-year-old Lola says she wants to be on that team. I Ten could years. probably be in like a teenage soccer thing. <laughs> and not to miss out, I grabbed the first autograph. If you'd like to learn more about how to get involved with this effort, you can find all of the information online at cbscolorado.com. In Denver, Karen Morvick covering Colorado First. Got to get that autograph framed.